Okay. Great. So can you guys start off by introducing yourself to our site visitors at popculturemadness.com? I am Ryan, and I play drums and sing for Falling in Reverse. I'm Jackie, and I play guitar for Falling in Reverse. Great. Thanks, guys. So how are you enjoying Warped Tour 2012? It is really, really great. It hasn't really been that hot except for three of the days, and all the crowds have been really big and awesome. That's good. Any fun stories so far? Fun stories, Jackie? Um... Derek fell off stage the first day. He, oh. um, we went to it was the first show, the first song, and he went to um, jump on the ego riser, and then he fell off. <laughs> so now he has like a Wolverine foot because it's like he so down down. his feet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that is like not the best way to start things yeah. off. <laughs> saw a kid cross surfing on, on a wheelchair. That was pretty crazy. And then you got thrown over the thing, and it was fine. That seems to be like the popular thing to do. I think I was in a pit for Megadeth before, and I saw somebody crowd surfing a wheelchair. Any one for me? I don't yeah, know. No. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, last time we caught up with you guys was at Rock on the Range in Ohio, and you know what has been going on since then. Uh, we've just been playing a lot of radio shows and getting geared for Warp Tour, and we've been writing some new material, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> So, I mean, you guys have a preference between playing, like, the larger festivals like this one or, like, smaller one-off, like, club dates. I, I like it all. I just like playing, you know? For me, it's, like, a variation. Like, um, we, we can't go to Canada, so we play the one-off show in New York, like, in a club. Um, and then after playing these huge shows and then going to a club, it was like really fun. It was like my favorite show, but um, but it's because I haven't played one in so long, so it's yeah, kind of variation. It's like an indoor show since the Warp Tour kicked off. Yeah. Everything else has been outdoors, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, that's got to be like two completely different animals. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> sure. One's a whole lot louder than the other one. I can imagine. So, I mean, the fan base for you guys has just been absolutely insane. And, you know, how do you feel? It's how much of a whirlwind has everything been, you know, since the album and everything like that? I just think it's crazy that our record hasn't even been out a year yet and we're already playing main stage world tour it's just been like a dream for all of us for years just playing in different projects and everything it's just crazy that we're getting to do it now you know so i mean how did everything come together for you guys i mean you mentioned you all working on different projects and like you know how did the collaboration that you guys decided to uh, come together with falling in reverse ronnie and my old band did a tour together in 2007 on the Epitaph tour. I was in a band called I Am Ghost, and he was with Escape the Fate. And uh, shortly after that, you know, that's when he went to prison. He kept in touch, and as soon as he got out, you know, I was I was in a different place in my life. And then my band, we we pretty much broke up. And then I, you know, tried out for this one, and Jack, they found uh, Jackie on YouTube. I, no, I sent him a MySpace message, oh, MySpace. and he said yeah, So that's how I did it. That's crazy. I mean, the power of social networking now. Is... But what's funny is that I sent it at the right time because right after that, MySpace just like died, and then like I was like, wow, that was I kind of like jumped through the hoop, kind of. Seriously, because now everything's like Facebook. My MySpace is like barely alive yeah. anymore. I think it's like hanging by a thread. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to tweet everyone to like. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. No, I just sent it. Yeah. And then our old bass player, or sorry, our new bass player Ron was in a band with me, and I am Ghost, and then uh, that's where we got him as well, after Micah left, so, but yeah, anyway, sorry. That's okay, so what has been one of your most insane uh, fan stories so far? Most insane fan stories? Um, we were doing a signing in Denver, Colorado, and this girl came up to Ronnie and was like, I've been waiting to do this for a really long time. And she just opened up her top, she saw all her boobs, and then she said she was a virgin and she ran off. Wow. And that was a pretty crazy story to me. So I decided it's gonna be it free everyone's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that was crazy. And on the last tour, um, some drunk kid were like ran on the bus and he was like, he just kind of ran on went, hey. <laughs> was like, no, he was like, I work at the venue. And we're all like, what? He's like, no, I'm, I'm just a fan. I'm so sorry. Can I get your autograph? And we're like, I think he what? Like, he had a lot of balls. The, the beer tester for the venue. Yeah, maybe the beer. <laughs> 
Well, he's definitely got some balls if yeah. he did that, so, you know. <laughs> Sounds like something out with the just by accident. Yeah. It's like, wait, I came in a car. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of talking like that. So, for both of you, what was one of those pivotal albums or, or defining musical moments that made you want to decide that you wanted to pursue music for a career? Um, I'd say Green Day Dookie for me. I grew up as a huge Green Day fan. That's the first mm-hmm. album I ever got. Yeah, me too. So you guys excited for that triple release they have coming out? Um, I am personally. I think Uno just came out, right? Uh, or it's yeah, about September. to? Okay, yeah. Well, there you go. So there's that. And then, you know, we, it was weird. Uh, Mike Dern just came out to one of our shows. His daughter is a really big fan of our band. And so we hung out with him. He's kind of telling us all about it. And that was also surreal getting to meet yeah, him. Fun. Yeah. So I'm fun I'm on the um, Art of Drum by AFI. We have it tattooed on my arm. And uh, I've got All Hallows EP there. Because um, they were my favorite band when I was a kid. Yeah. That's awesome. So if you weren't pursuing music, what do you think you'd be doing instead? Yeah, I really don't know. I've just, I've all been doing this for so long. I'd be like a really awesome homeless guy. <laughs> like every time, every time I see him, I'm like, I see like new inventive ways that they're like being homeless and stuff. Like I would like, no, I'm serious. Like I, see, if I see boxes, I'm like, I could do so much with that. They like feel like I, a fort somewhere, like. Like I could like be a career park. as like a homeless guy, like. I would make yeah. homeless people see. Yeah, yeah. They, they have that. It's called, it's called Skid Row. It's down, no, yeah, it's but down like, that way. But I would like, I would like do my own thing with it. Yeah. And like, um, yeah, I'd just be a really awesome homeless guy. Yeah. Maybe I'd be like a sound engineer or something, you know? So yeah, maybe well, I'd do I, I'd probably have a job. Yeah, yeah somewhere. So it would definitely be something music related. Yeah, I would hope so, yeah. That's awesome. So what are the, the plans for After Warped? Um, I think we're going on a fall headlining tour of sorts, and we're just going to still work on uh, new material. That's awesome. Any music videos planned? Any fun stuff like that? We just came out with a video called Good Girls, Bad Guys. Um, I'm not really sure if we're going to do another video or what what's going on next, but as soon as we know, you'll know. That's great. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out to speak with me. Is there any comments that you'd like to share with our site visitors? Thanks for making all of our dreams come true. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey on Web Tour this year. Hear that. <laughs> and we'll figure out a way where Jackie can make a bunch of boxes for... Yes, I like hold, hold on to your boxes and stuff. Yeah. I'm not like on the top of cereal boxes. They have the things for schools, but they should, you just save them for me because... <laughs> I could really like make something cool. Yeah, I would enjoy it even. Yeah, you know you're gonna you're gonna have that happen now, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Be harmless. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.